Kate, how's your work going? It's getting late in the night, but do you still have work to do? Are you still at the office? Yeah, it's gonna take me a while to finish all the work that's due tomorrow. I see. You've been working really hard recently. You rarely come home early. I'm a bit busy right now. It's a seasonal thing, so all my colleagues are also working till late. I'm sorry, I can't make much time to spend with you. I hope you can understand. It's alright, I get it. It motivates me when I see you working hard, but don't push yourself too much. Do you think you can come over to my house next week? I wanted to introduce you to my parents before we got married. If you're busy right now, we can reschedule. It's up to you. What do you think? I think I can make it. I already told my boss that I have to leave early that day. I will be there next week. I don't want to miss it. Are you sure? I don't want to pressure you or anything. We're not in a hurry, so I don't mind taking our time. I'm okay, but thanks for being considerate of me. We've already rescheduled it once when I suddenly had to go to work the other day. I really want to make it this time. I've never met your parents before, so I really hope to see them before we get married. I really don't mind rescheduling. You're my first priority, Kate. And I could go and meet your parents before you come to see my parents if you'd like. The order doesn't really matter. Do you want me to go visit your parents next week, if that works for them? I thought it might be less stressing for you if we go visit your parents first and come back to mine later when your work settles down a bit. Thanks, but my parents told me that they were also busy this month. They won't be able to make time for us next week. They said they'll have some time next month, so we'll go and meet them after I visit your parents. Okay. I'll tell my parents that we'll be visiting next week as planned. Are you sure you can come? Yeah, I'll be there. Don't worry. And Kate, I have a favor to ask. I want to introduce you to my friends. I was hoping we could go eat dinner with them when you have time after things settle down at work. What? You want me to go eat dinner with your friends? Yes. Uh, when I told them about you, they kept on telling me that they really wanted to see you too. I bet they're just interested to see who I fell in love with. They're my two guy best friends. We've known each other since high school. They're really nice, so I hope you could meet them too. Of course, I love to meet them. It's a pleasure to get to know your best friends. Really? Thanks, Kate. I'm glad you think that way. I told them to wait for the occasion of meeting you, but they keep telling me to introduce you to them every time they see me. I guess they want to tease you. By the way, my friends also want to meet you too. Hmm? Really? I guess all our friends think the same. I'll be willing to meet them. I'm not that busy right now, so I'll go meet them anytime you want me to. I have an idea. How about we meet both of our friends on the same day? Wouldn't that be pretty cool? Good idea. It's more efficient, and it's less work for both of us as well. But can we schedule this gathering with our friends after we go meet both of your parents? We should get things done before making time to spend with our friends. I should be less busy next month. We'll plan when things settle down for me. Yeah, that would be great. It's up to you. I'm already getting nervous to meet your friends. It's also my first time introducing my girlfriend to my friends, so, so that's nerve-wracking as well. You're my first for everything. Really? Me too. I don't have much experience in these things, but we're getting married. Can you believe it? We're both inexperienced. It's our first marriage. I bet the people around us are eager to know about who we're planning to marry. I'm pretty sure they didn't expect us to marry this early. I still can't believe I'm getting married. I wasn't a romantic, so I never thought I'd get married. Really? It was you who proposed to me, remember? You're a romantic, believe me. You changed me. You made me change my mind about marriage. If it wasn't you, well, I'd probably be single all my life. It doesn't feel real at all, but I guess it takes time. Maybe visiting our parents and introducing each other as our partner would make it feel more real. True, we are engaged to each other now, but we're not officially married yet. We're basically just dating. But I can't stop looking at the ring you gave me. It's so beautiful. I don't want to lose it. So I won't put it on my finger until we officially get married. I can be clumsy sometimes, you know that. Yeah, I'm glad you liked it. Of course, I would love it. All of the girls dream of getting a ring on your finger from the person they love the most. It's really a dream come true for me. I never thought my dream would come true. Who thought I would actually experience such a romantic scene? I can't be happier than this. The engagement ring was pretty costly for me, so I wouldn't be able to give you a super expensive ring when we actually get married, though. I'm not the richest guy, you know. Don't worry, I'm planning to wear the ring every day, so it doesn't have to be super fancy. There's nothing to feel sorry about, Henry. You're doing so much for me already. After we visit our parents, we'll have to find a new place to move in together. And also get ready for our wedding ceremony. 
There's so much that we have to prepare for. We're going to be very busy, Kate. Right. I've heard that the preparations for the wedding ceremony can be really tiring. They say there's so many things to plan about. It's scaring me, honestly. It's okay. We'll get through this together. I'm always on your side, remember? Well, we still have time. We have to go visit our parents first. We have plenty of time to worry about our wedding after then. Do you think we can meet up before we visit my parents next week, or are you too busy right now? Hmm, let me see. I'm really busy this week, and I have to go to work on the weekends as well, so it might be difficult to meet up. I need some rest too, you know? I barely get any rest on the weekdays. I get it. Don't push yourself too much. Do you mind if I call you sometimes? I miss you. Of course. We can call once in a while. I'll make time for that. I'll call you again soon. Take good care of your health. And don't forget to get some rest, Kate. <coughs> Kate, are you alright? What's going on? Please reply to my messages or calls. I thought you were supposed to come over to my parents' house today. Didn't you tell me that you could come today? I thought we were supposed to meet at 10. We've been waiting for an hour already. And I've called you so many times, but I can't reach you. I'm starting to get worried. Henry, I'm so sorry. What's wrong? Did you sleep in? Forgot to set the alarm? No, I'm sorry, Henry. I don't think I can go visit your parents today. Hmm? Why? What's going on? I'm actually at the hospital right now. I've been here for a few days now. What? Why, why didn't you tell me? Did you get into an accident? Which hospital are you at? No, it's not like I had an accident. I'm sick. My health. It's not the best. You're sick? Is it serious? Yeah, I've been going through some treatment for several years now. I'm sorry I didn't tell you this. I wanted to tell you, but I couldn't bring myself to tell you after you proposed to me and we got engaged. I'm really sorry I kept it a secret. How are you sick? Is it a disease? If you've had the condition for a few years now, it means it's pretty serious, isn't it? Yeah. You're going to get better after you get it treated in the hospital, right? I can't be exactly sure. Why can't you be sure? I'm sorry, I'm really confused right now. Can you tell me the name of your condition? And the hospital you're staying at, I'm, I'm coming to you right away. I'm sorry, Henry. I can't tell you that. Why? I'm going to be your husband. I don't want to make you worried. I don't want to be the reason for your sadness. I wish for your happiness the most. Not telling me anything makes me sad, Kate. Why do you sound like we're not going to meet again? Please, Kate, just tell me where you are right now. I need to talk to you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Pretend like we never met. Kate, no. Kate, wait a minute. I can't process all the things you just told me. I'm really confused right now. Can you please explain what's going on? Tell me everything, Kate. There's nothing more I can tell you, Henry. I don't think I'll survive until our marriage. The days I spent with you were no doubt the best days of my life. Thank you so much for giving me so many happy memories. Kate, can we talk? Are you feeling better? <coughs> I really need you to tell me the truth. Please reply to my messages. I'm so worried about you. I can still get in touch with you through messages. That means you're still alive, right? You have to be alive. I know you are. Please. Please reply to my messages. Are you Mr. Henry Wilson, Kate's fiancé? Yes, that's me. Uh, who are you? I assume that you're not Kate. Yes, I'm not Kate. I'm Kate's mother. She's not here anymore. So I'm texting you on her behalf. She's now in heaven. I know you must be surprised about her sudden death. But I hope you understand. I thought you might want to know about what happened to her as her fiancé, so I decided to reach out to you through my daughter's phone. What? Kate, um, died? What do you mean she's in heaven right now? I'm sorry, but I really don't know what you're saying. It doesn't make sense. I assume that she told you about her deteriorating health. Yes, yeah, she texted me that she was in the hospital because of that. That was the last conversation I had with her before she stopped replying. I assume that she told you about her deteriorating health and her disease. No way. It can't be happening. You have to be kidding. You're lying. No, it's the truth. I still haven't been able to accept the fact that my daughter is no longer in this world, but it's the undeniable truth. I thought her fiancé deserved to know. No. It's okay. Can you tell me where she is right now? I told you that she's not here anymore. Does that mean you've already had her funeral? 
Yes, it's all done. I'm sorry, but I can't believe you. I might sound rude, but it just doesn't make sense to me. I need you to show me proof of the fact that she really died. Do you expect me to show you her ashes? How could you ask me for something so rude? No, that's not what I meant. If she really passed away, I want to visit her grave and see it with my eyes. I was about to get married to her. Could I please visit your house? I'm sorry, but I don't want you to come here. My daughter told me before her death that she wanted you to forget about her as soon as possible. I'll never be able to forget about her if it ended like this. I need you to tell me the details. I need to know what disease she was fighting against and where she was when she died. Please, please let me know. We still haven't gotten over the fact that our daughter is no longer with us. I'm very sorry, but we're not mentally stable enough to have someone visit our house. So please, forget about our daughter and start your life anew. Do I not deserve a chance to go visit you? I still can't believe what you told me. Actually, someone told me that they saw Kate. If she's really dead, who did they see? That's impossible. I bet they just mistook someone else as Kate. Kate was too sick to go outside in the first place. Can I try calling you? I'm sorry, but it's really hard for us too. I don't think I can handle talking about her any longer. Goodbye, Mr. Wilson. Babe, I'm done with work for the day. Can I come over tonight? Your babe no longer wants you to come over. Too bad. Huh? Babe? What's wrong? You're acting weird. I'm Henry, by the way. Huh? Babe? I'm really confused right now. What are you talking about? Who's Henry? I'm borrowing your boyfriend's phone right now to text you, Kate. I know you deceived me. I'm sorry, but I really don't know who you're talking about. Can I please talk to my boyfriend, sir? Don't you remember me? I was engaged to you, and you broke up with me a month ago saying that you were sick. Then you pretended to be your own mother and texted me that Kate has gone to heaven. Huh? Do you remember me now? I was really surprised when I found out that everything except your name and address were a lie. You only viewed me as your wallet. You only wanted my money. I know you never loved me. Are you really Henry? Yup. I'm your ex you broke up with lying that you were dead. Since you stopped replying to my messages and calls, I started looking for you, because there's no way I could believe your death. I visited all the hospitals that I could find near this area, and one of my friends told me a rumor about you. What rumor? I once showed a photo of you to my best friends. Remember the friends I told you about who were eager to meet you? One of them insisted that he had seen you somewhere. That's why they wanted to meet you. He wanted to make sure you weren't the one he knew. What? When I told them that your mother contacted me about you passing away, they grew worried that I might have been deceived all along. Thanks to them and their friends, I was able to find out the truth about you. I came across a few guys who used to date you, Kate. Huh? You did some research about my past and even got in touch with my exes? God, Henry, you're creeping me out. You creep me out, Kate. I know your plan now. You visit the bar to find single guys who look rich and flirt with them until you start dating. You make them buy you expensive bags and jewelry for you as presents, and then you dump them when they start wanting to get married. Looks like I was one of those guys. What you're doing is a fraud, Kate. What are you talking about? You're making stuff up. I'd never do that. Don't make me sound like a criminal. Then why did you lie to me? You're actually here now, alive and happy with your new boyfriend. I don't understand why you had to lie to me about your disease and death. You could have just broken up with me. Henry, I'm sorry. I really loved you, believe me. I was taking our relationship very serious, but I got a bit worried about my future and realized that I might not be ready to get married to someone. It was too late when I realized I wasn't ready. I've already accepted your proposal. It was hard for me to say that I wasn't prepared yet, after I already said yes to you. So I had no other choice but to lie to you. I didn't have the courage to tell you the truth, Henry. And now you're dating someone new. Uh, Taylor, was that his name? I really think Taylor is the one I'm meant to be with. I love him. I'm sorry, Henry, but I don't love you anymore. Goodbye. 
So I hope you can go on with your life and forget about me. Let me be completely honest with you. What you're doing to us is marriage fraud. It's not a fraud. I really loved all my exes when I was dating them. Why are you so mean to me? Are you trying to get revenge? You were never serious about me. I know you never loved me. You had several other boyfriends when we were dating. When I visited your mansion the other day, I came across a guy that was in a similar situation as me. You're talking nonsense. Oh, I actually had a chance to talk to him. What? You talked with him? He told me that he used to date you too. Apparently he also decided to come over to check on you after you stopped replying to his messages and calls. But you were already gone. We were in the exact same situation. He even showed me the photos of you two going on a date. This is all a misunderstanding. You know, I'm really popular among guys, and sometimes my exes can be delusional after we break up. Henry, I know you never believed that I actually passed away. You're a smart person, so you must have known that you were dumped. Can you stop stalking me around? We're over, okay? I'm in love with Taylor now. Leave us alone. Taylor is a crying mess right now. Huh? Why? Do you know where I am right now? I'm at Taylor's, with the guy who you were also dating while we were dating. And the other guy you're dating right now is with us too. So there's four of us here, all of us being a victim of your fraud. You're horrible, Kate. How can you deceive so many guys at once? What the hell? You're really creeping me out. I've dumped you long ago, but you're still stalking me around? Who do you think you are? A detective? I'm glad I didn't get married to a psycho like you. So this is who you really are. You've been acting all along. I'm glad I didn't get married to a criminal like you too. So can't we just get over it? You accept our breakup? End of story. Leave me alone. Goodbye. We're officially over. Return the phone to Taylor right now. It's not over yet for all of us. We're going to call the police and report a crime. What? Didn't I tell you earlier? What you're doing is a marriage fraud. I plan to marry you? It's just that I changed my mind. It's not a fraud. But you were cheating on me all along. It doesn't make sense, does it? We have proof of your crimes, and we're going to file a lawsuit against you. One of the guys said that he lent you two million dollars to help pay for hospital fees of your sick mother. Wait a minute, you're crazy for filing a lawsuit against me because of something so insignificant. It's no big deal. Insignificant? You call betraying someone and breaking the engagement insignificant? I was really worried about you when you stopped replying to my messages. Even after I got to know that you were dating multiple guys at once, I thought maybe you had your own reasons. Do you know why? It's because I loved you. If you told me everything honestly, I wouldn't have done this. I'm sorry. But my mother is really sick. I needed money to cover her hospital fees. You're lying to me again. No, I'm telling you the truth this time. I've already contacted your parents about this. They never told me that they were sick or anything. What? You contacted my parents? What the hell are you doing? You might plan to lie to us again. I have to do whatever I can. I did some thorough investigation about you. I know where you actually work, too. You can't lie about your job anymore. You can't run away from us. No more hiding. No more running away. You're over, Kate. Henry, I'm so sorry. I'm really sorry for what I did. I'm not the only one who's owed an apology. There's so many other guys you have to apologize to. I promise I won't do it again. I'll apologize to all of you. So please, don't file a lawsuit against me. You're overreacting. Please, I'm begging you. Please forgive me. And let's just let it go, okay? I thought you told me you never intended to deceive us. You thought it wasn't a fraud, right? Then there should be no problem whether we decide to file a lawsuit against you or not. If you're confident you'll win the case, it shouldn't be such a big deal for you. No, I... I really needed the money. I was really having a hard time making ends meet, and... So you were planning to deceive us all along, hmm? No, it's not exactly like that. Henry, calm down. Let's have a little chat. We'll solve this in the peaceful manner. I'll make some time to have a discussion with all my exes if that would make all of you feel better. You think we'll forgive you? You can't be serious. We'll never meet you in private anymore. Don't say that. I promise I won't lie to you anymore. I'll be honest to all of you from now on, I promise. 
I don't think we can all believe you anymore. After all the lies you've told us, it's too late, Kate. Please, Henry, I'm begging you. Please believe me. Please give me another chance. I promise I won't do the same thing to you. You're a criminal. How can we ever believe you again? We were stupid that we once trusted you. I guess love really blinds us sometimes. But you're a horrible human being for deceiving us. You played with our love and broke our hearts. You should take responsibility for your own actions. I think you deserve to suffer after what you did. I'll forget about you like you wanted me to. So don't come begging for help. I'll go on with my life and leave you alone, Kate. <coughs> Kate was soon arrested for marriage fraud after we reported her crimes to the police. She was actually arrested for the same crime before, and back then she had her sentence suspended. But now she has repeated her crimes and it's her second time being arrested, so she'll be sent to jail this time. She will have to fulfill her sentence before she can ever get out again. I guess that's why she was begging for mercy when I told her we were filing a lawsuit against her. Well, it's obviously too late to apologize for all the things she's done to us. All the things we gave to Kate were returned to us after following the necessary procedures. The other victims got their money back, and I got the engagement ring returned to me too. Fortunately, she hadn't sold them yet, so we were mostly able to get them back from her. The jewellery and bags were found stored in her new house. We found out about this after she got arrested, but apparently she was really planning to get married to Taylor. I guess she was really serious about her relationship with Taylor. Taylor had the most money among us, so she might have planned to depend on him financially for the rest of her life. Considering her age, she might have thought that it was about time to settle down and get married, but now she's dumped by the guy she really planned to marry and sent to jail at last. She wouldn't be coming out for a while until she finishes her sentence in jail. I don't know how the other victims are feeling right now, but I think we're all glad that it didn't end up the way she wanted it to. We all think she doesn't deserve to have a happy marriage after all the suffering she caused us. Her parents have promised us that they'll keep a close eye on her after she gets out of jail to prevent any more marriage frauds. They were furious to find out all the crimes Kate had been hiding from them. They didn't even know about her first arrest. Considering how furious they were, I bet they would keep their promise about keeping an eye on Kate for the rest of her life. I think all of us need some time to recover from the scars she left after she betrayed us. And we sincerely hope that no more guys would have to suffer the same fate. When I just found out what Kate had been doing behind my back, I was in deep sorrow, and it was as if a part of me had died. But with the help of my friends and family, I was able to slowly recover from my trauma, and now I'm pursuing my own happiness in life. After I got to know the other victims of Kate's marriage fraud, we became good friends. We go out to drink once in a while, and that's the one thing I earned from going through all this. If I was alone, I wouldn't have been able to go through all the hardships I had to face. I'm lucky to have all the people around me. I don't think I'm prepared to fall in love again yet, but I don't want to be trapped in the past. I'll try my best to keep a positive attitude, believing that a happy future awaits me. <laughs>